Our next guest first gained worldwide attention for his role as Tom Riddle in Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Remember that? Oh, who great, could forget? Great movie. <laughs> and now he's starring in a new play that has critics raving. Here to tell us all about everything you touch is actor Christian Coulson. Welcome to 360. Hi, thanks. Christian, thanks for good. good to have you here. You've got to tell us all about this play, getting rave mm. reviews, as we said. And it actually goes back and forth between the 1970s and the present day giving a unique perspective on the fashion industry. That's right. Yeah, so tell us more. Um, well, the play is about a character called Jess who uh, has body image issues and her mother is dying. She's traveling to see her mom and then it bounces back and forth between her present and this imaginary incarnation of a guy who's traveling with her and you also see who's me and you see Victor. his story yeah. Victor <laughs> back in the 1970s when uh, he was a fashion designer and um, uh, a sort of enfant terrible of the East Village fashion scene yes. and um, and his decision to sell out potentially in order to make more money and be more successful and meanwhile their friendship in the present is developing and oh. shifting and their relationship. Well, so, your, yeah. your character Victor is not just a fashion designer, he's at the top of his game That's right. and, and yeah. cutthroat and ruthless. Ruthless, so, <laughs> cruel, like? chain smoking, aggressive. Gets rid of his muse right. Right, for That's a new right. model. That's right. What Trades was it like in. to play a character like that? Um, you know, it's really fun. It's so mm -hmm. much fun to be able to be uh, that outrageous every night on stage mm -hmm. and just to sort of, um, I mean, it's like literally get, getting out there and having as much fun as possible and wearing these insane clothes and <laughs> um, uh, being like a, a joyous bully most of the time. So mm -hmm. it's, it's great. I love it. Do you think Victor was actually based on a real life fashion designer, do you think? Well, there's some elements, there's a lot of different uh, there's a lot of different elements of different designers. I think in terms of uh, where he is in his career, uh, Holston was a big uh, influence because Holston was the first person to, um, to franchise his name uh, back in the 70s and it was something that no one had done at that point and it sort of killed his career. People stopped taking him seriously. But um, in terms of the behavior, there's like a lot of, I don't want to name names, but there's a lot of, uh, of designers, um, both of the period and now, who yes. are these uh, larger than life figures and can get away with behaving as they want to. We so. won't name yeah. any names then, <laughs> until now, the cameras go off. I know, exactly. <laughs> well, you mentioned that it also deals with body image. Mm -hmm. And do you think that a lot of men in the fashion industry also go through these same insecurities as the women do? That's a very interesting question. I mean, I imagine they do. I don't have any direct experience of it. And this play is very much, uh, it's written, uh, Sheila Callahan, uh, a female playwright, has, has written it. And it's very much about, um, I think she's really exploring women's issues with their bodies. But I feel like mm -hmm. they, they are as applicable. I mean, I know plenty of uh, men who, who have similar feelings of... Um, you know, of needing to conform or being judged by people for their size. And I certainly think that's happening more and more, that the, the need to have a certain body type or yeah. to look a particular way is, is, uh, is definitely around us. So do you think this play will help people deal with those insecurities? It's an interesting oh. question. I certainly think it'll raise them. It's, it's very hard to see this play and not have a discussion about it mm. afterwards. Yeah. So, um, so if it brings it out into the into discussion, I think that's, a, that's, that's an important way of starting to deal with it, yeah. Okay. Definitely. You mentioned Sheila Callahan, mm -hmm. who is also a writer and producer mm -hmm. on Shameless, the Showtime that's right. series. Yeah. So what was it like to work with Sheila? Um, she's amazing. I mean, she, to be fair, she was, uh, because she's working on Shameless out in Los Angeles, she was only in at the beginning and the end of the process, but um, she has such a sharp uh, mind and her, her ability to like come in and rewrite right up to, I mean, right up to opening night, all through previews, she was sort of shifting and honing and changing what we were saying. And Is that tough for you guys? Because you learn it one way and then you've got to switch it up? Or? I mean, I guess it's also a, it's a fun challenge. Yeah. It's, um, and if something isn't working, it's so nice to have somebody come in and, and say, you know, I can see that this is a struggle for this reason and, yeah. and give you something else to try and maybe that doesn't work either. It's, um, it's part of the fun of doing live, uh, of doing live performance. What do you like more, live or like TV and film? Or you take uh, it over and over? I really like both, but I, what I love about the, the live side is, um, is feeling an audience every night because mm. they're all different and some of them are so, you know, we've had audiences where they laugh at every single line and others where 
um, where like the serious moments of the play really weigh on them in a different mm -hmm. way. And it, you know, it's definitely a comedy, but it also has this this hard edge uh, mm -hmm. to it, which yeah. is very interesting. And you've done TV. Mm -hmm. uh, we saw you in Gossip Girl, mm -hmm. The Good Wife as mm -hmm. well, and movies too. Harry Potter, as we mentioned. Well, you actually played a 16-year-old when you were in your 20s. Yes. Was that tough? <laughs> um, I, I mean... I'm not sure they well, knew I was in my 20s. It's those young good oh, looks that you have, yeah. Um, I think, yeah, I looked young. And also, I think what was interesting about that part is that uh, I'm simultaneously 16, but also I have the mind of someone 50 years older. Mm. So so it, it has both those elements to it. So yeah. I, I wow. guess it, it helped. How exciting was it to be in Harry Potter? Because it was, like, huge. I mean, it still is. It was extraordinary. Um, I, I, that first day of... I've never... I mean, I've never been on a set like it, but to be on a... Um, to be on a set with the entire thing is flooded with water, and it's uh, you know it wasn't it's not green screen that mm. we were doing for those scenes. It is like this enormous real, like hundred meter long set with wow. uh, with with these massive walls, and yeah. it just made it very easy to um, to imagine yourself into the world. It was great. Mm. Wow, well, that's very awesome. Exciting. So tell us where we can see the play. It's, uh, on, it's on until Cherry March, Lane. the end of March. Yeah, till yeah. the end of March, uh, Cherry Lane Theatre in the West Village on Commerce Street. Everything you touch. Yeah. All right. And thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. And we'll be right back with more Rise 360.